J.D. Vance held a rally in Sparta, Michigan, and I couldn't help but noticing how many young kids were there. So I thought, let's ask him why. Here we go. Cool. All right, we are at Sparta at the J.D. Vance uh, campaign, and we're asking some people why they're here. So first off, what's your name? I'm Jesse. You got Jesse. I'm Gage. Gage, and uh, what brings you guys here? What makes you guys want to vote kind of the Trump way rather than the Harris way? Well, you know, I've kind of been in of politics for my whole life. I can't vote this year, which is kind of disappointing, uh, seeing as it's quite an important election coming up here. But I don't know. I think it's I think it's good to support a candidate, get involved in politics, especially now. I'm sure, we're in a very dire place, and even though I can't vote, I can try to get more people to vote. Yep, be a part of it. Very cool. Yep. What about yourself? Uh, I've grown up in a Republican household my whole life. Um, I've been you know i've been a fan of trump since he ran in 2016. um i'm not old enough to vote yet either okay um but you know looking at the competition it's not really much of a contest between who i should vote for sure so sure. okay cool well thanks guys appreciate your time yeah thank you yep okay uh what's your name um i'm ben souls ben josh nice to meet you so what what brings you out here today what makes you uh vote for this is one of the most pivotal and what makes you think that way? Just the way to vote is to vote as, as a Christian. I, I see the, just how, how wicked and sinful and wicked. I, I, do, I do believe this election will and what do you think? What do you think Trump is bringing to the stage over in Mala that's going to kind of help that, especially with your Christian worldview? Well, as a well, that's the policy of the law. Okay, like we've we had to, we've seen her. Yep. And I, I think it'll be a good look for all my years. Good stuff. All right, hey, thanks for your time, man. Appreciate it. Yep. yep. Okay, we're Sparta, Michigan again at the J.D. Vance campaign, and here asking some questions. Got a few guys here willing to talk, so I've got... Uh, hi, I'm Aiden. Aiden. I'm Mason. What's up? Mason. And I'm Cameron. Cameron. All right, so uh, we'll start down here with Cameron. <laughs> what brings you guys here? What makes you kind of vote the Trump way, see Trump as the best uh, thing moving forward for us? Um, I mean, the reason why I'm here is more just to see what Trump's going to do, what J.D. Vance is planning on doing. I feel like J.D. Vance has done better at talking to telling people what he wants to do compared to the Kamala and uh, Harris campaign. I haven't really seen anything that they're going to do or plan on doing. That's why I would say I'm here for it. Okay. Yeah, no, I've been, I've loved Trump since, you know, 2016 and ran the first time. Um, I think uh, even if you don't necessarily like him, he's still a better option than what we've got, you know, better looking people if you can think about it like that. Um, me personally, I think, you know, great, bring a great presence. If, compared to the two, he's definitely the most uncorrupt. He, uh, the billionaire, billionaires don't need to be by big tech and stuff so forth, whereas you know, I was a politician, big politician things, you know, all that for I value honesty mostly, and he uh, is very honest in all his runnings, you know, he will tell you straight up what he does and how he's going to do it, so I think that's really admirable. Cool. Uh, yeah, so a big thing for me is, is a few things. So starting with the border, I don't, uh, especially with fentanyl and, you know, just, you know, uh, I don't like that 10 million people have gone through the border in the past three and a half years and we haven't acknowledged it or said anything about it. Another big thing is military. When we're taking 12 uh, military vets out of Afghanistan, they all ended up dying under the Biden administration. And we don't say a word. We don't condone the families. We don't we don't speak publicly about it. And then we go on a campaign a few months ago in a, in a speech and we, and we say that no one's ever died under our presidency in the military. Uh, I like world peace. I like that there haven't been any major wars under Trump's presidency. And I love that he's able to talk. And he's able to go into situations where he is clearly at a disadvantage. And he's able to still go up there and talk while, you know, Harris, it took her about two months to even have a single talk on an interview. And recently had a talk on an interview, didn't really go very well. But I feel like the public really doesn't like Trump because a lot of people vote off of who they want to go and, you know, take out to dinner or they want to, you know, bring to their graduation. And that's just not what voting is. It's, uh, it's, it's who gets the job done better. And if you compare resumes here, I mean, it, it's a clear choice. I mean, better. So tell me this, Rick, you're all seniors in high school, correct? Yeah, right. So yeah. what, what is the overall feel or the overall 
kind of uh, feeling of, of kids in your grade or in your school about this election? What's going on? Like, what do you hear? Um, I think, you know, we, we're kind of like a friend school. A lot of the schools around here, I mean, we are a, a, a swing state. We were blue last year. So there's a, a lot of, you know, dem primarily, primarily Democratic schools around, you know, this area. But I think our school is definitely more of the right wing side, which, you know, good, good for us. Um, I know a lot of a lot of kids from our school specifically are here right now. Uh, you know, uh, us included, obviously. So I think you know around here we've got we're kind of you know on the more country rather than uh, again we're only a few minutes from Grand Rapids, but still you know yep. we're more hick school around here. Whereas you know just a few minutes down the road you got Comstock, which is more inner city. But um, you know we've got a lot of diversity, but we're still being right, and I really think that's uh, good for. Nowadays, where they're trying to put tampons in boys' bathrooms, so you know, I, I really appreciate that for us. <laughs> so, is there is, is there a lot of talk in the school? Like, is there a lot of interest among your peers in this election itself? Or? Yeah, oh, the big yeah. thing is, uh, you know, we've had some some conflict with people coming into our schools and, and threatening us, and I think people have heard the talk about Kamala in past interviews talking about possibly taking and or, or defunding the police, which I don't agree with. So, so to interrupt you. What do you mean by, by threatening? Like, uh, we had we had a kid last year run into our school and, and threaten. And could, uh, he had got kicked out in the first place to see start fights and stuff, and he actually snuck into our school and uh, full lockdown. Every time. We had full lockdown. And that was politically motivated. Uh, no, it no, wasn't it was like personal for him. Oh, but, I think it's just off of the fact that Kamal has talked about taking police officers out of schools, and the fact that if we don't have a police officer in that situation, a lot of us wouldn't. Be cool. Any final thoughts? Um, I mean, what I would say is, I think the media has really influenced a lot of people. Like, I feel like Kamal and them have a big influence on the media. Has changed a lot of kids' opinions. A lot of false stuff has been said i say i would say that there's things that are said out there that kids see it and they believe it and they don't do the research if you actually do your research you're gonna know what's actually going on and that's yeah. what i feel like you yeah. need to do the thing you better hope for. yeah at the end of the day it's, it's not what you say it's what you do you know you a person can be saying stuff that you love to hear but if you actually look at what they have done because i mean they have both they, they've both been in office and i mean you just at the end of the day you ask when was your life better you know? Well, awesome. Hey, thanks for your time, guys. Appreciate it. Good to see some performance people out there paying attention. So thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, we're continuing with our questions. Today I've got uh, Mason Ross. Mason Ross here with me answering some questions. So Mason, tell me a little bit about why you're here and why you're interested in the rally today. Um, I didn't want to go to school. And <laughs> That's a great reason. And I really wanted to see if Trump would be here, but he's not going to be here. Yeah. I'm learning about politics. Okay. And uh, have you ever been to a rally before? Is this your first time? This is my first time at a rally. Okay. And then uh, what grade are you in, if you don't mind me asking? I'm in 10th grade. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the atmosphere, the vibe within the schools, about what this election is like. What are people talking about? What's Everyone's doing? pretty weird and creepy. <laughs> Very good. You're not the first one to say that. So, Cool. Any other thoughts about being here, election, Mr. Vance? I think this is awesome seeing all these, like, baby people. Navy people. It's a great experience for me. Very good. <laughs> good stuff. All right. Hey, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Of course. It. Yeah. Now we all want to get there? All right. Here we go. Mr. Rome. Yep. Okay. Ellie, you said? Ellie. Yeah. I'm Josh. Nice, nice to meet you. Here. So tell me a little bit about why you're here, why you support Trump. Well, I want to be able to buy a house one day. I'm a senior, so I support Donald Trump. Most of all of us here, all of us here support Donald Trump. Um, Okay. That's pretty much the sum up. <laughs> so give me give me some highlight points of why Trump is better than that. Um, well, when he was in office, inflation was down. Um, better economy. I don't need your help. <laughs> uh, and the border was secure. Okay. And with Kamala, we see inflation rising. I can't even get my truck filled up for less than 80 bucks. Yep. And our borders run down. Even in my own town, we see we see immigrants coming in and taking jobs and ruining our our little kind of Okay. So in your age bracket, what do you think is the biggest factor in the election? Um, definitely the, the economy. And yeah, I think that's a big thing. I mean, a lot of these 20 year olds in college want to get out blue collar workers. They can't, they can't afford to live. Yep. They can't afford to eat. And it's, it's getting ridiculous. Yep. For sure. All right. Any last thoughts for, uh, for the audience before we go? Don't vote for tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. We're at the J.D. Vance rally, and the guy just came up and told us that this lady right here is the last lady to get in. So we literally just made it by two people. You desire to be into power. They asked, we ask that you would turn our hearts to you. 
turn us back to your word. I pray you would protect our land. I pray you would protect those. like to have me here because there's, oh, it's no, there's nothing better than making a buckeye come up north and bang it through your bow. Go boo! And you all are nice and friendly to me, but I know in the back of your mind you're saying, well, we're still going to beat them in football. <laughs> we'll see about that. Go Buckeyes!